We are here in Aguas Calientes. We took the train in last night from Oyate Tambo. Um, and yeah, it's been quite a journey getting here. It's been far more expensive than I really realized that it would be. You know, everything else has been cheap, but you know, here it's been it's been like they, they're charging us in dollars and not soles, and that's how you know it's expensive. Um, but yeah, we're in Aguas Calientes. We're gonna make our way down to the bus station. We had our breakfast. It is 6 a.m. and our ticket says we can enter at 7, so we're gonna try to do our best to get there by that time. All right, let's go. <clears throat> so we are in the famous line to the bus at Machu Picchu. We're just gonna be waiting here. I mean, they checked our tickets and we had to buy the bus ticket, which is in the this little station down this alley um, which is not necessarily obvious that you have to do um, but yeah we got our bus tickets they checked our, our Machu Picchu tickets so now we're just waiting for these buses to move and it doesn't seem like the line's moving at all so yay So we're still waiting in line for Machu Picchu. We got off one bus through one line and here's the next. Yay. This is also the last place to use the bathroom, which is down there. Which is funny because we're about to be in here for like three hours and there's absolutely no bathrooms inside. So that line up there is apparently the long, long line for us. We're doing circuit four. Three and four. Just four to Wayano Pichu and Wayano Pichu. And this is the line down here next to the bathrooms. Finally, finalmente, we're inside. We got this jungle ahead of us before we get to the actual site. But yes, I'm actually excited now. <laughs> Definitely the best ruins I've ever been to. You know, there's a reason everybody comes to Machu Picchu, and I think we know why. I mean, it's literally, you know, the walls are as tall as Yosemite, except they're green, and the background is beautiful, and it's pretty well preserved. It's freaking amazing. Don't pull up the sun. Oh man, look at that boulder. Please <laughs> stop. <laughs> We're past the last checkpoint to Ion and Pichu. Yeah, uh, 
<laughs> it's a little confusing, but you know, what are you gonna do? Holy guacamole, that is beautiful. Jackie, we will not be past. Brandon, I should go up, up. Okay, we will not be past. Got it. This is what I was talking about in those tombs. They have stairs that go like this. Ah, uh, mm hmm. And this, and this, and this. Yeah. So I was in this. We will not be past Brandon. Uh, <laughs> you <laughs> shall not pass. <laughs> Jackie has the same enemy as Kung Fu Panda. Stairs. So we just made it to the top of Juan Apuchu, came down a little bit, and we're having our little snack. Uh, what time is it? It is, it is nine o'clock. We started it at about eight. So not a very long hike. You know, <clears throat> Jackie had some problem with the altitude. <laughs> but as we say, altitude is for the week. <laughs> it's funny. So, I mean, it is kind of tall up here. I'm not even, it said 2,000 something meters, which I don't actually know what it equates to. We made it up here pretty fast. Yeah, Thank you. yeah, yeah. We didn't get passed by anybody. So it was, it was a great hike, amazing views. I totally re recommend it to anybody. Like, although I'd still pick Half Dome and Angel's Landing above this. What do you think? Mm, close. Yeah. But I like this. Yeah. This better I than like both? green. You like the green? Okay, well, there you have it. See you at the bottom. Look at these stairs. This is what I was hoping for, for our stairway of death. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was pretty tame. <laughs> Descending. <laughs> A little skip jump thing. Wait, what do I do? 
<laughs> yeah. See the video? Uh huh. Past the checkpoint to Wayana Picchu, and we are now back in the main area of Machu Picchu. Beautiful as always. Just a reminder, you can see the terraces up there. That's where we were at, at the very tippy top of that little mountain. Little? It's little. Not that little. <laughs> <laughs> Give us some credit, here. It only took an hour. Oh, it's a video. <laughs> yeah, so, <clears throat> so we are back on the bus. The line to get out was not very long. Um, so we're headed back now to Aguas Calumgen is never going to go hit the hot springs. So, you know, <clears throat> online it says that the hot springs are better earlier in the day because they're cleaner, but we're still going to do it. <laughs> so we successfully navigated Machu Picchu without a guide or a tour. And, you know, a guide might have been nice, but <laughs> I'm just gonna look up some stuff from Machu Picchu when I get home, I guess. You know, for me, it was more about the views. Um, one thing I will say is if you don't speak Spanish or don't speak sufficient Spanish, like you can't have a conversation with a taxi driver, you probably shouldn't <clears throat> try to go without a, a tour, without a tour. Because if you do, you'll probably mess it up. So, anyways, that, that was a final thought. And the whole thing, uh, Machu Picchu, Guayana Picchu, and getting out took us since 7. So we got on the bus at like 6.30. We're, we're waiting for the bus at 6, so that's four and a half hours total from bus to exiting Machu Picchu and we probably got another 20 minutes till we're back in Aguas Calientes. Alright so we are heading to the Baños Terminales hot springs. You know this town is called Aguas Calientes which means hot water so we figured we might as well try that. We're gonna go check out the waterfall behind it. <laughs> So it costs 20 soles per person, which is like $5. And we are heading in, but the waterfall is closed, which is unfortunate. It's pretty nice and toasty in here. There's a bunch of pools, but this one's the warmest at 99 degrees. Not the, not the best husband, but definitely not the worst that we've been to. So, 